present series of Helen Reviews. The producers have asked me to review something a little bit different today. They have asked me to review the YouTube hit That Young Life Show. You may know it, but first of all, we have a bit of time for your wonderful questions and comments. First of all, we have Becca from Hartford, who would just like to say thank you to everyone for all your birthday wishes. It was very much appreciated, especially when it was her birthday on the 28th of May. It was not so appreciated the months and the weeks before and after. Okay? Ooh, moving on, we have Alex Jones from The One Show. She's seen Phil on quite a few That Young Life shows now, and she was wondering if he would be interested joining her on the couch on The One Show. Ooh. Oh, unfortunately, I think he signed a deal with Young Life, Alex. I'm afraid he's unavailable. You've lost your chance there. I know where Ed was interested, though. Ah, and lastly, we have Tim from Central London. Let me elucidate this for you, Tim. Being sesquipedalian can obfuscate the person that you are confabulating with. To everyone else, I just said, let me make this clear to you, Tim. Loving long words could confuse the person you're chatting to. Right, back on with the show. As we are all aware, the show started back in March as our worlds were turned upside down and suddenly stopped. One minute you were all studying hard at school or college and the next you were spending endless days in bed, forgetting things like the day of the week and your names and what two metres looks like. I've seen you in the park. I know that ain't two metres. The show started at five past eight so we could all clap for the NHS and Shania, our own key worker, and we were off, ready to go and chat online while we waited for all the glitches to disappear. My, we were patient, but wasn't it worth it? Oh, yes. We moved from Insta to YouTube pretty quickly, and the show just kept on getting better and better. Sarah, Phil and Ed were brilliant at cheering us all up. Do you remember the classics, such as the rubber ducks chatting to each other? Playing Where's Loop? He was always outside. And there was Sing Along Live with Phil. You guys were awesome. I especially enjoyed you seeing in action the new role challenge, the TV, the t-shirt challenge, and hat competitions, all compiled by Josh. Also worth a mention was this what Steve saw and Eva's pugs having lots and lots of fun and Shia's very odd voice. As time dragged on, so did the show. <laughs> no, the show just kept on getting better and better. We gained a presenter, Kieran Pie Face Ring, and we saw loads of hats as they tried to hide their isolation hair. Do you remember the squid, the Christmas tree, and the pink wig? They were getting desperate. We had a new game show, such as Don't Say Yes or No, and where everyone tried to beat Ellis's fantastic score of 7.4 seconds. Oh my, there's so many highlights for me watching Steve's isolation tapes, which is on the top of my Christmas list. I asked him for his autograph last Saturday. The songs include I Can't Get No, Toilet Roll, Stay Inside, Don't Stand By Me, and The Sweet Home Down in Our Lockdown, Mash Up With Ed. Tim did his best to educate us while the schools couldn't and taught us so many new words. Do you remember them? No, neither do I. However, I'll remember him shaving his head and getting a young life tattoo for the rest of my life. Hilarious! Helen's reviews were definitely a highlight for me. My favourite being the spork, and I love seeing Sarah in her wedding dress. A special mention needs to be said for the rising star, Caleb the Counting King. Watch out for him in the future. He's going to be big, and remember you saw him first at Young Life. And also a huge round of applause to Jamie with those sick beats. The Grammys are waiting. But most of all, I want to say well done to all the leaders who shared a little bit of their hearts and good news about Jesus to you all. You guys rock. Lastly, just in case, you know, I didn't make it clear. I think the show's awesome, but it's even better live. So keep watching the low show online, guys, but make sure you see them live in flesh at the first opportunity. Young life. Wouldn't want to do life without them. What's that? Alex Jones is on the phone. She wants to know if Kieran's available. 